Farmer 51 here. All right, as you can see, it is complete. The uh, McCormick uh, 136 tandem disc hero, uh, fast hitch version, uh, one point version. I guess that's the reason they put the 136 and the one in front of the 36. They had a 236, and I'm guessing that was the uh, two, two point version. Um, there are 16 inch blades. Uh, on the front and the rear, even though the rear do, does look a little shorter. Um, these are all original IH blades. Um, it's hard to see, but I'll take some pictures of the IHs on the each blade, or the IH blade, but, um, but anyway, take word for it there. They're all IH blades, um, original blades. And they're, they're not in the best condition. So that one is a little pitted. They're all pitted, but they're all um, they're all used. So, but anyway, it still looks it still looks fine. They work. Um, all the gangs are tight. Um, all the correct uh, caps and uh, and there's three aftermarket axles on here that are a little long. Um, if you can see right there, that's a little long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my cutoff wheel and cut that off and. Um, I got all my tabs on there uh, bent over to keep the nuts from coming back out. Um, and I'm fixing to put some grease in it here in a little bit. Um, and then I'm going to get a, um, I think, uh, McCormick, the McCormick decal that goes across the back here. And if I'm not mistaken, it has a 136 on it. Um, there's the disc. There, you just can't make it out. It says McCormick on the back, but then it says uh, 136 across the back here. So, um, let's see. Get back up. Put about four coats of paint on it. Um, other than that, um, say uh, I've painted it the way according to what the International Paint Committee um, had decided on what the what the paint uh, spools and all that are red. The bearings are red. The stands are red. The points are red. The frames are red, uh, and the discs are black. Um, and I believe the uh, scrapers will be uh, red. I'm not sure. Um, I may just paint them black just to fit with the disc. But um, like I say, it'll be pretty close. Um, like I say, I did. Well, this rear beam back in. Um, that was in pretty bad shape, but um, it's a little pitted. Um, let's say, and it's a 1958 model. Um, well, 56, 57, 58. Well, they made them from 54 to 58. So, um, about time along the 140 come along, they uh, come out with the 122, um, which was a little bit better of a disc. But um, you don't see that many of them out there. Um, but if anybody um, wants to trade, I'd like to I'd like to find me a 122 um, to go with my uh, 79 140 over there. Um, I like this disc. Uh, it's, it's nice. And it's it's light. It's not terribly heavy, but it's heavy enough. I believe it to go in the ground. Um, the blades on the front are 16, and even though these are these do not look 16, they are 16 uh, a little over. Um, I believe uh, it was on the front here. If you, I think you're supposed to measure from the inside of the skull up there, or the dip there. But, but anyway, um, that's it. And um, like I say, I'll, I will not be putting it on the tractor yet. I've got one show uh, to go to, and then I've got another show, the May show in Raleigh. Um, I'm going to take it to before I, I might have to pick it up the straps because um, I don't want to. I know it, you know, I can repaint it, but once you scrape the paint that's already on there, when you go back and paint it, it'll be, you can see the scars in it. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm just going to try to use my Kubota over there and I'm going to just, um, I'm going to lift it, set it on the trailer and lift it off and um, do that way. Um, and then I guess after that show, I may or may not use it depending on somebody wants to buy it from me. So um, like I say, I've got, I've got a little bit in it. Um, like I say, I got the displays and stuff, some of that stuff for free. Um, everything else I had to pay for, but um, you can go away from here if somebody uh, comes up with the money.
And like I say, everything's for sale. Everything has a price. <laughs> um, if you want it bad enough. So, but anyway, um, when I get it out in the light, um, I'll do a little bit better of a video of it. I got some touch-up places to do on here. Um, some places I've seen, you know, we skin up, you know, a few little places, but nothing major. Um, just a little stuff, a little paintbrush I can fix. But um, it's all been spray painted, and I actually did it all with cans. I actually had a uh, some cans here and I, I did you know parts of it piece by piece and uh, small pieces as I went along so there was no use in mixing up a whole can of paint and doing all of it at one time and I didn't want to go through the hassle of that which I could have but um, I think I got painted the whole thing with the frame and the axles with about four or four cans of um, Tisco Red um, I didn't see any use in using the Case IH paint no I used my Case IH paint on my my tractors and stuff here, but uh, as far as the implements or something like that, I'll just use the Tisco, which Tisco's come a long way. They're real, it's real good paint, um, and it's very, very, there's really no difference at all um, in the shade between the Case IH 2150 and the Tisco. But um, other than that, uh, like I say, uh, later on I'll have some pictures of it and um, get it out there and uh, maybe even disc with it. I don't know, one day. <laughs> I hate to, but uh, it'll be a while before I do that because I've spent some time on this. Um, even though it's a little disc, there's quite a few parts. Um, you got four bearings on the back, and there are two pieces. Uh, they're, they're in two pieces, and then you got your stands, you got your bolts, you got the, all the front, and you got 16 blades, and then you got the point. Um, I said, yeah, they didn't even count the scrapers, uh, which I may or may not put on here yet, depending on how much hassle it's going to be to find them. So. But anyway, that's it, and um, look forward to uh, seeing this in the field maybe one day, if maybe not. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll keep.